story of Ramanuja. Ramanuja Charya reveals secret mantra to all fallen souls. Ramanuja Charya in his own life made a very transcendental pastime. He went for initiation to one great Acharya. His name was Gosti Purna. By his own initiating, Guru Maharaj Mahapurna told him he should receive mantra from Gosti Purna, saying there is no Vaishnav Acharya like him. So Ramanuja asked, can you please give me the mantra? Gosti Purna was thinking that this mantra is so pure that I have no inclination to give it to anyone in the world because if it touches the lips of someone impure, it is not pleasing to the holy name of the Lord. So he responded, Maybe some other day. Now you can return to your home. Ramanuja felt very much dejected. Some days later, he walked all the way from Sri Rangam to this particular village to ask again, Will you give me initiation and mantra? And Gosti Purna again said, No, I will not give you initiation at this time. Ramanuja Charya went 18 times walking long distances, very humbly falling at Gosti Purna's feet, asking, pleading to give him this initiation, and 18 times Gosti Purna refused. Ramanuja, thinking himself so undeserving, so fallen, so useless in this existence, in such humility he began to cry, and one Vaishnav was witnessing this, told Gosti Purna how Ramanuja's heart was so broken in humility, feeling himself so undeserving, he was simply weeping. So Gosti Purna called for him. Sri Ramanuja approached and was told that this mantra, my son, is so pure, it is so powerful that anyone who hears it will be liberated from the sufferings of this world and achieve eternal loving service of Lord Narayana. Furthermore, therefore, I am entrusting you with this mantra under the condition that you never ever ever disclose this to anyone else. Ghosty Purna then proceeded to give him the mantra. Ramanuja was very much blissful. He offered his prostrated obsience to this guru, Maharaj, and he began to walk back to his home ashram. As he was walking, he saw so many people and as he was looking at them, seeing how they are trying to enjoy their material world, simply cast into this ocean of duality, simply responding to various attachments and aversions and being incriminated deeper and deeper and deeper in the laws of karma and as a great devotee feels compassion, not only to the poor and the sick and the old, but a devotee feels compassion upon anyone who is wasting human life without Krishna consciousness. Upon seeing these people, his heart was just swelling over with pity and sympathy for them. He announced very loudly that everyone come to the local temple, get everyone to come because I am going to give freely a most precious jewel to each and every one. This spread throughout the village and soon there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people gathered at the temple. Ramanuja climbed to the top of the temple where everyone could see him on the terrace and he said to them, you are all more dear to me than my very life. Therefore, I am going to give you the most precious wealth. I am going to give you a mantra by which chanting you would be free from the clutches of material suffering and you will achieve the lotus feet of Lord, of Lord Narayan. All the people were calling out, please give us this mantra. So Ramanuja said, please repeat after me. And then as loud as he could sing, he called out for everyone to hear the secret mantra. Repeat after me, Om Namo Narayana. Everyone was chanting very loud. Repeat again, Ramanuja said, Om Namo Narayana. He instructed them how to chant in the mood of service. Then everyone was filled with great bliss and they all with great hearts offered their obscience to Ramanuja. Ramanuja happily went back to his guru's ashram. Meanwhile, Gosti Purna heard the news of this tumultuous sound of thousands and thousands and thousands of people chanting the mantra that he did not feel anyone but Ramanuja in the whole world was qualified to sing. And when Ramanuja came in, very humbly offered his Danvat Pranam. But his guru was furious. He said, get out of here. Why are you causing me such great suffering to see your face? You are a fool. You are a rascal. You have disobeyed my order. Get out of here. 
for offending, committing this offense. You will have to spend lifetimes in hell. Then Ramanuja in great happiness and humility with folded palms and said, My Guru Maharaj, you had told me that anyone who hears this mantra will get liberation from suffering and achieve the loving service of Lord Narayan. So why not give liberation and Narayan Bhakti to everyone? Why should they suffer in this world? If all these thousands and thousands of people go back to Vaikuntha for their sake, I am willing to suffer in hell for lifetimes. A real Vaishnav spoke up and said, He is suffering to see the sufferings of others. Paraduka Duki. When Gostipurna heard this, understood the compassion and selfless devotion of Ramanuja, he began to weep. With his own arms, he embraced Ramanuja and said that from this day, you are my guru. You are teaching me the true qualities of a devotee, compassion and selfless devotion. And Ramanuja fell at the feet of Gostipurna and he said, I am your eternal servant, servant of your servants, and it is only by your grace, by your mercy, that all these people have delivered. All these people have been delivered. So in this way, Ramanuja was actually willing to go to hell. He was willing to suffer endlessly, commit any offense, if it would help others achieve Krishna consciousness. Actually, Ramanuja knew the heart of his spiritual master, and therefore he was willing to put aside all his attraction and aversions to serve the real heart of his Guru Maharaj. Ramanuja is sitting as he is, with heart beat in Sri Rangam. I am talking to my disciples, I am not interested in trolls. Listen, I have seen that deity of Ramanuja in Sri Rangam. He is living. When I went to have darshan, I bowed down and I had one small desire. Prabhu, just show me you are alive. He sweetly opened his eyes and a small smile and closed it and went into samadhi again. Understand? I am uttering these words responsibly. All my disciples who are integrated to me, sincerely, sincerely who believes, who loves what I am talking, go to Sri Rangam, stand in front of Ramanuja and ask him, Prabhu, my Guru sent me. He told me, you smiled at him and opened your eyes and gave darshan. Please do that to me again. Please do that. Bless me. I sincerely trust my Guru's words and I came here. I am here for your darshan. Hey, I tell you. Now I give you the commitment. If Ramanuja gave me darshan, if that is truth, he will give you the same darshan and blessing. He is alive. But he has shrunk a little bit, he is, he is larger than when he was using his body, he was a little larger figure. A well built Ajahn Bhagavad because the Adi Seshas avatara, larger body. Now, body is little shrunk, but is alive. Acharya is alive. Understand? I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to lie. What is there? What is the vested interest for me to promote Acharya Ramanuja Samadhi? Not, I have no reason. And the temple is not in my control. 
that i am promoting it so all of you will come and lot of money will come and it will all be mine and all stupid trolls shut all your holes and go and do your work some other work not trolling me i have nothing to gain by promoting ramanujas jiva samadhi i am just telling all my sincere disciples who are interested in enlightenment don't miss at least once go there and see and i really tell you he will bless you hey listen he is a living 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 <laughs> mahapurusha even when i went to shirdi i saw he was sitting just sitting shirdi sai baba he was just sitting hey it is not deity he is <laughs> i am not hypomania or delusionary person who sees something which is not there hey i see things which you can't see does not mean i see things which is not there hey i see more than what you can see just now i connected with acharya and prayed prabhu please bless anyone who comes in my name listening to this satsang please grace them make them realize you are alive is it tatastu then only after i got is tatastu i am even telling all of you declaring it to all of you go if you ask anybody in the shrirangam they will tell you that where ramanujas samadhi is there and all my gurukul kids balasans and my sanyasis kailasavasis you should not miss as early as the travel becomes possible you should you guys all of you should make a trip if you have not already made a trip you should make a trip and people who are in india of course from other countries i don't think it is possible now especially with this corona arana all that hmm. so at least people kailasasi in india when you are able to travel and the traveling is possible you should make a trip and asking prabhu swami ji sent me he told you are alive just show some way either he can move hands and that let him decide or just open his eyes and or a smile i tell you he responds he is alive sitting in samadhi sayujya mukti of parandama anybody who has a third eye scanning power if you go to srirangam and see that ramanuja deity and scan you can see his bones are all inside it is a body actual body it's not carved deity it's a body it's traditionally embalmed as per the hindu tradition in hindu tradition the embalming is done while you are alive it's not that after you leave the body they do some process pull out the internal organs and infuse some no no while you are alive itself your diet and your pranayama everything is done properly such a way that your body is embalmed so after you leave the body not, nobody touches it just it becomes deity i tell you 
రామానుజ స్వామి రామానుజాచార్య ఇన్ శ్రీరంగం ఇస్ ద జస్ట్ ద బాడీ యూస్డ్ అండ్ తిరుమల తిరుపతి వెంకటేశ్వర ఇస్ ద బాడీ ఆఫ్ వెంకటేశ్వర శ్రీనివాస ద బాడీ విచ్ ఈ యూస్డ్ ఈ జస్ట్ స్టుడ్ అండ్ బికమ్ ఎ డైటీ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ బాడీ ఈ యూస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ స్టోన్ డైటీ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ అ third eye body scanning power manifested if you can scan people and see their body inside go and stand in front of venkateshwara and pray to him request him to show him you will see clearly he will show his whole body in that inside that bone and all is there as it is he just became a deity same way the రామానుజాచార్య ఇన్ శ్రీరంగం ఈ జస్ట్ బికమ్ ఎ డైటీ అండ్ ఇన్ బృందావన్ రాఘవేంద్ర స్వామిగల్ ఈస్ సిటింగ్ జస్ట్ ఎస్ అ డైటీ ఇన్ సైడ్ ఇస్ జీవ సమాధి ఇన్ నెరూర్ సదాశివ బ్రహ్మేంద్ర ఇస్ జస్ట్ సిటింగ్ ఎస్ అ డైటీ అండ్ త్రైలింగ స్వామి ఇన్ కాశీ ఐ కెన్ గో ఆన్ గివింగ్ యూ ద లిస్ట్ 